it's Rosemary here on day eight of the 30 day vlogging challenge and um, I'm on a beautiful beach in Lincolnshire. Let me just turn the camera around so you can have a quick look. Do a quick panorama. As you can see it's very deserted. It's Monday the 1st of August. I'll come back to me now. <laughs> and I'm on my way home. I've had a fabulous weekend with some friends two young men, one's 19, Ben, the other one's um, William, who's six, my friend Louise, who I've known for about 30 years now, we went to college together, we've had an absolutely wonderful time in Havens in a caravan, and I'm just on my way home and I'm lingering because I just wanted to spend some time by myself, even though I live alone, there are a lot of distractions, my office is from home, the internet there constantly haven't you and oh, just so much going on and I've got a poorly cat at the moment and I need to go home and sort some things out with her and I just needed some time alone and I've been talking to friends recently about what it is to be an introvert and I think I'm kind of a I'm definitely an introvert and apparently one of the reasons one of the signs that you're an introvert is that you recover in solitude so when things happen, you need to withdraw and actually spend by time by yourself to recover. And I've noticed this more and more and more with me. I've had quite an interesting morning here. I've, um, I've done a release exercise, which I will do a later vlog about because I think it's well worth sharing. Something came up to me for me last week that I needed a little bit of uh, release work done on it and I've done that, but I'll, I'll do that tomorrow's vlog. But just to spend time in quietness by ourselves, I think so many people just don't do it. You know, we live with other people, we we care for other people. I, I know for me very much, I'm, I'm in the school of service, according to my hand and, and, and analysis, which I think I'll do another blog about actually, which means I tend to put everyone first and my, one of my life lessons is actually to learn to be of service to myself. And when that was first said to me by Sarupa Shah actually, I really didn't know what she meant. She kept saying you, you need to learn to be of service to yourself and it's taken me till now and I'm, I'll be 53 on Wednesday and I really have realised what it is to be of service to myself. We created an amazing event recently and I just didn't really allow it to benefit me and my business at all. I just got so swept up in looking after everyone else and got really busy and, and in the end my, my winning women business was hardly represented there. And I really have put my own business on hold completely for the last couple of years, just because I needed to, I think. So there's no judgment there, but this is the classic. And uh, we, we do look after other people a lot more than we look after ourselves. So for me today, I've been to one beach a little way up the way, Sutton on the Sea, and now I've just popped off here. There was a sign by the side of the road that said, to the sea. So I pulled off sharpish and came down here and um, I just thought I'd have another half an hour just to just chilling, making this video and I'm going to go and have another little paddle get really grounded before I go back so I ask you when do you ever, are you of service to yourself, do you care for yourself do you really give yourself time there's an awful lot of us don't now wondering if I've actually pressed record on this <laughs> so give yourself a little bit of time today if you can and please write me a comment in the below and uh, let me know how you're serving yourself and giving yourself time to recover and heal on whatever you need I'd love to hear. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye from um, somewhere on the Lincolnshire coast and I'll just turn this around quickly so you can have another little look before I turn off. Bye bye have a wonderful day.